Hello， 大家好，欢迎大家来到这个播客，跟杨老师学中文。我是主播杨立群，我在泰国曼谷给您带来的精彩学习汉语和聊聊中国的节目。Hello everyone, welcome you all to study Chinese with Teacher Yang podcast. I'm your host Yang Liqun. This is a podcast about Chinese lesson and chit chat China, coming to you from Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand. The land of smile. It's not hard to find a gelato ice cream shop in China, but can you find any ice cream shops where the ice cream served are prepared fresh at the selling spot and sold within one or two hours before producing another set of flavors for sale in the next period? Not only in China, it's even hard to discover such an ice cream shop in this world. The Chinese brand of ice cream, which I will introduce to you today, is the only ice cream shop in China, or let's say in this world, that prepares the ice cream at the point of sale and sells out within a few hours. Before producing another set of ice cream to be sold in the next period, let's get to know more about this made in China gelato ice cream shop located in Beijing and Tianjin at present. I'm sure you have to say, "Wow!" after listening to this episode of Chit Chat China. Yeah, yeah, Mu Fang or its English name, Salvage Mill. Is the gelato's ice cream shop, which has gained its reputation from their main concept of full freshness. What are they? The first one is fresh milk. Milk is said to be the main ingredient in an ice cream. The fresh ingredient brings about the high quality product. The milk supply of this ice cream shop, Ye Yuan Mu Fang or Salvage Mill, comes from the self-feed daily. Cows in its own farm. Milk supply is sent to the shop on the daily basis. And the second freshness is the fresh fruits used to make ice cream. Ye Yuan Mu Fang or Salvage Mill uses only good quality of fresh fruits to make an ice cream. The third freshness is that there are no jams, flavor, or color additives. Used in making the ice cream, they retain the taste and color of raw materials only. And last but not least, the ice cream is made at the shop, just like a homemade ice cream. The ice creams are made and sell out within a few hours before a new set of flavors is made for the next selling period. They don't produce mass production like in the industry, so. There will be only a few flavors of ice cream served in certain period of time, which will be shown in the wooden menu signs hung in front of the shop. The purpose of this strategy is to serve the fresh ice cream that is not only yummy but healthy as well. I am even more impressed with this ice cream shop, Salvage Mill. When I got to watch a short video of the owner of this shop introducing his shop, I could see his real passion in ice cream and his intention in researching and creating the best quality gelato for his customers. He said that he's gonna spend his lifetime doing just one thing well, that is to produce the best quality ice cream that is not harmful to the consumers. He said that from his outer appearance, he may look quiet and calm, but inside he is filled with strong drive and power to make a different ice cream to the world. Wow, he is really my ideal businessman. I wish more and more businessmen had this mindset as he does, and not just focusing on meeting the highest profit with lowest cost. I'm sure that his passion and faithfulness will make him stay in this business for a long, long time. 
I believe you would like to get to know the founder of this ice cream shop, Ye Ye Mu Fang, or Salvage Meal already, right? Let's see how unique he is. Shui Jianwei is a Chinese man who comes from Shanxi province. He got his master in management major from Beijing University and got a chance to go to work in Italy. There in Italy, he found that he was born for ice cream. He decided to quit his job and went back to China to start his ice cream business. He had been doing a lot of researches to try to find the best way to produce the best quality ice cream. And the reason he chose to make gelato ice cream is because he used to learn how to make gelato from his Italian teacher in Italy. His Italian teacher told him he's already an ice cream expert. His word inspired Shui Jianwei to start his ice cream business in gelato with the strong determination of producing the best quality gelato for his customers. Well, the path to success in business for Shui Jianwei was not that smooth. He had gone through several trials and errors. He had found a partner to buy a farm to feed his own dairy cows for meal supply, the main ingredient for his ice cream. Six years after that, his ice cream shop, Ye Ye Mu Fang, has gained its reputation. Up to 2018, he has more than 30 shops in Beijing and Tianjin municipalities. Even that many shops, he could guarantee that his ice cream served in each branch is the best gelato ice cream in Beijing. We can say that this kind of ice cream that is made and sold fresh in a short period of time is one of its kind in this world. His determination and great intention reflects not only in the taste and freshness of the ice cream, but also in other things around his shop as well. For example, the spoon for takeout ice cream was specially designed for his chops. The nicely designed cardboard paper, which is put in the middle of the ice cream cone, is used to help prevent the ice cream spilling onto the customer's hand. Wow! Not only that, the wooden plates, bowls, spoons, and forks used for eat in customers also nicely selected. Simple and cozy decoration around his job makes the customer feel relaxed and happy. Every tiny little details were the result of Chui Jianwei's care for his customers and passion for his job. Now, you might have wondered, is this great quality ice cream extremely costly? Not at all. The price of the ice cream at Salvage Mill is very reasonable. One cone or cup of most flavors of ice cream is about 28 yuan, and some flavors like durian flavor will cost only 38 yuan per cup or cone. No addition charge for the cone. Very reasonable price for such a great quality ice cream, isn't it? And in addition, since it's low fat and less sugar, you can eat as often as you want without feeling guilty. If you stay in Beijing or Tianjin for a long time, you may buy a membership to enjoy the discount or other privileges. Talking about the choices of flavors, there are basic flavors served like vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry, plus other fruity flavors according to the seasons. And there are also other flavors like pistachio, tiramisu, matcha green tea, orange, lemon, mango, kiwi, or even black sesame. But as I say, it depends on which aisle you stop by and which flavors are served at that time.
Also, if you ever get to go to Beijing or Tianjin, don't forget to look for Ye Yan Mu Fang or Shaovich Meal to test the best quality gelato in Beijing. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. 好了，今天的播客就到这了。感谢大家收听，咱们下周再见。That's it for today's podcast. I hope you enjoyed the ice cream. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Have a good week.